Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about, because I went on that tangent with the, the gaming industry and a uh, journalist and uh, reacted to RGT85's video. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, and we touched on it, was uh, the, the, the yesterday during the business update, it was hilarious because just casually in the middle of all the discussion, they were like, yeah, you know, the next console is going to be the largest technological leap. Uh, of a console generation yet and then they just like kept going on in the sentence like casually they just jumped it in there and it reminded me a lot of like in the interview movie when Eminem's character is like yeah I'm gay blah 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 and then that just casually just talks in it it was um it was very interesting how downplayed and overlooked that was uh, but yeah yesterday in the middle of the business update Xbox basically confirmed its hardware plans and that was one thing that a lot of people were worried about because these gaming journalists field that speculation that they were no longer going to be developing hardware that they'd be going the way of sega but yeah all the rumors have been put to rest essentially with the business update yesterday um reliable insiders again and leakers they caused all that uproar and that backlash and stuff suggesting that they're just going completely multi-platform and becoming sega 2.0 uh but head of head of xbox himself it came right from the horse's fucking mouth Phil Spencer addressed it, and he promised it a week ahead. I, why they made us wait a week, I'm still puzzled. Like, they should have just been like, yo, here's here's the facts, here's this and that, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they wanted to wait a week so they can have a, I guess, a, a perfectly detailed, organized train of thought with a good presentation. I don't know. If I was them, I would have cured it right out of the way. I would have been like, yo... Instead of putting that tweet out saying you're waiting a week, I would have just made like a quick, even if it was on the phone, hey, this is Phil Spencer, we're not going nowhere, it's these games that are going multi-platform, we're developing the next console, fuck you, see you, goodbye, right? They should have just right out the gate, <laughs> people, because that just caused, I don't know, maybe it was a way of letting, they were like, hey, fuck it, Xbox is trending, let's just keep it going, right? <laughs> let's get a week's worth of trending daily Twitter trends so, you know, people could talk about Xbox. I don't know. This was the most that it seems like the gaming industry and social media has been talking about Xbox, like, in quite some time. But, uh, yeah, they made us wait, and they tackled the rumors head on. Like, if you watched it with me, like yesterday I watched Reacted Live on here. They are bringing for the games to its two other platforms. We already talked about it. Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, Permanent, and Grounded. But they didn't name the games, but we pretty much know um, two of the games are live service titles, so that makes sense. Sea of Thieves, Grounded. The other two are smaller games, Permanent, Hi-Fi Rush. But right out the gate, and I love that the the journalist did this. Right out the gate, the journalist um, came out and asked, Hey, is this... Is this uh, going to be Starfield and Indiana Jones? Are they going to be going to other platforms? And they were like, no. Nope. Right out the fucking gate. He said the games would be games that are over a year old, games that didn't have as big of a player base as they had hoped, and games that they feel are hidden gems that deserve to have a bigger player base. So it fits in with those those games, right? Um, so the fact that Indiana Jones is remaining exclusive right from the horse's mouth in Starfield is remain exclusive debunked all the gaming journalists and I, I i if you watched my reaction to it i was like fuck yeah like as soon as i heard him confirm those that like made my um not that i was worried not that i was like worried about xbox and stuff like that but it definitely was like okay cool because i was taking a wait and see approach so they did mention this is where things got pretty good they said that there's going to be 10 big release games coming out. First party, 10 big first party release games coming to Xbox that would not only be Xbox exclusive, but they would be coming day one to Game Pass. So if, if any shred of fact of Xbox going the way of Sega was real, that would have proven it wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, right away from the get-go, and they said that there would be a June Xbox showcase, which before E3 got officially canceled and, and, and killed and died off, 
June is usually E3 month, right? That's when people come out, show their products, make their big game announcements. That's when Nintendo has their presentation, Sony, Microsoft, you name it. That's where everybody has their big showcases. So they're prepping already. In February, they're already dropping hints that there's going to be big news at the June Xbox showcase. No exact date was given, just that June... (laughs) <laughs> will be happening with a showcase and the fact that they announced it ahead of time in february is leading me to believe that there's going to be some big news dropped on that and that's exciting they casually dropped the whole next console comment though um which it was it was kind of funny how they did it again like i said uh the fact that the fact that they were like oh you know the next the next um console (laughs) it's going to be the biggest hardware advancement the biggest technologically uh leap that you'll ever see in hardware games uh, like in a hardware generation and then they just casually moved aside to it like i i really wish the journalists would have been like wait a minute can you provide some more detail but they didn't um it was sarah bond that basically said that there's some exciting stuff coming out that they're going to share this holiday so they're planning to sharing out. They're planning to share out this information for the next Xbox console this holiday. So almost a year from now, like ten months from now, we should be getting information on the next console. Who knows? Unfortunately, we got to wait for these details. As with anything, uh, is it going to be a next full generation console, or is it going to be a midlife? Xbox Series X console like like how the one the Xbox one had the Xbox one X which was like their 4k console (coughs) Who knows Um, it is interesting that they detailed about it though And this is coming after the fact that everybody was saying that they were no longer going to be developing hardware Supposedly there's supposed to be a digital only Xbox Series X console coming out there's been no confirmation of that and again as we learned recently that uh, we have to uh, (laughs) we have to take these gaming journalists that are reporting this stuff with a grain of salt because they get stuff wrong all right Um, if they do develop a digital only Series X that'd be interesting because they have the Series S which is essentially a lower powered Xbox console that's digital only for an affordable price I don't see any reason why they would have to make a series s I mean a series X that's digital only but who knows um, I would like to see a redesign I mean the box of the series X is interesting it's a rectangular little mini baby refrigerator uh, but if they make like a new design or something like that I would I would think that would be interesting but the main thing to take away from this is that they're not going anywhere at least for the next five six years there's they're not dead they're not dying they're not taking over the big IPS um, Indian Starfield aren't going to PlayStation and what's funny is if you really want to sit down and think about it you really want to sit down and take a real good I guess roast at Sony Sony came out and said that they're not going to be having any more new exclusives after this next month for the next year like what just galaxy red just said in the chat they're not going to be making any more big first party releases why i don't know are they going to be focusing on brand new ips smaller ips who knows but at this point (laughs) with xbox announcing that they're going multi-platform and they're moving games over to playstation Technically, if you really want to roast Sony on this, you could say that Sony is is not developing anything, right? I, hold on, I already fucked up my roast because I lost my train of thought. The roast is, you could say that Microsoft and Xbox are going to be making more games on PlayStation than Sony themselves. <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? What kind of world are we living in? Microsoft's going to make more PlayStation games than Sony themselves this next year when they go multi-platform. Sure, they're not going to be exclusive titles or anything like that, but uh, I, I guess it's it's kind of interesting to think that Sony all of a sudden is stopping 
I don't know why. I've heard one big complaint about the PlayStation 5 is that there's not enough exclusives. There's okay exclusives. You got, what, God of War? I don't think, was that was that cross-gen? Uh, Rat- Ratchet and Clank, Demon Souls Remake, um, Returnal. There was a few. Uh, it does definitely seem like it was a little bit slow of a drip feed. I don't know if that was because the pandemic fucked up a lot of things the first couple of years. But, um, it seems like, could it seems like, um, it seems like Sony's, I don't know what's their deal. Does anybody honestly know what the deal is? Like, why they would decide to do that? I hadn't looked into it. I maybe should (laughs) have. I maybe should have. But it is interesting to see, and it's funny to think about. Especially now when, um, when... Microsoft's going to be going uh, multi-platform. 